lung cancer. Ooh, lung cancer. So <laughs> let's let's let, let, let me just uh, let, let's introduce the situation. Let's say someone has stage three or stage four lung cancer. Uh -huh. What would you recommend for them? Let's say, for example, let's say you're in the Philippines. Uh -huh. Okay, they they came come to see you at your clinic. Stage three, stage four lung cancer. What would be your general recommendations? Uh -huh. Well, you have to drink goyabano leaves, ginger, garlic, asparagus. And then if you have Boston C, you know, and mega dose vitamin C. And if you have pain, pixie dust. And that's it. Just And just be and, patient. And dietary modification. Yeah, you just have to change your food. You have to change why did you develop lung cancer in the first place. If you're smoking... Stop. Mm -hmm. Or if you're around people who are smoking, who are smoking, okay, it's better if you go in a in a air with with air that is fresh, fresh clean air. Because mm -hmm. understand, guys, we, we we used to see a lot of folks here you know, who are who are moms and wives who never smoked, um, but who developed lung cancer. But then when you start digging into it, they were always cooking. Mm, they were cooking, cook yes. They were always cooking with uh, reusing oils. Cooking with these oils again and again and again and breathing. Or they're these, using these Teflon. oils and Teflon. Yeah. And, and, you know, reusing the oil three, four, five, six times. Don't use Teflon. Until it was black. If there's one thing, if you're cooking, if there's one thing I can tell you, do not use Teflon and aluminum. That's one of the worst things that you can do for your health. Okay, if you use, because there was an experiment done with Teflon, okay, because that's lined with fluoride, okay, so there was an experiment done with that, and what happened was that the, there was an animal that was exposed to that, and that bird died. The gas. Well, the thing is, he, you know, he just smelled it, always... and he used, no, there's, there's one, okay, oil or so, that's very important. The thing is, whenever you see an old Teflon mm -hmm. pan as well, you notice all the stuff that's missing off the bottom of it? Mm -hmm. Steflon. Where did that go? Mm -hmm. In your food. In your food. And then you're eating and it. And then you ate it. And your body had to process that. Yeah. But we don't live in a perfect world. We don't live in a perfect world. world. We don't live in a yeah. perfect world. But the thing is, we just, our, our health is a result of our choices. Mm -hmm. And so what we always have to do is make the best choices we can. Control what we can control. To ensure we're going to have the best health possible okay yes um, the other thing is when, when folks say well what is an alternative you know for 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 bread or rice or pasta you know the thing is we'll, we'll start introducing some different alternatives but you have to realize you get sick because of the choices you make and mm -hmm. if you don't want to change the choices you can't expect to return back to health okay. so sometimes it's about making sacrifices mm -hmm. 